subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for your daily dose of sugar hi everyone so in today's video i'll be showing you how to create this super dramatic winged eyeliner and this super pretty ombre bold dramatic lips so if you want to know how i achieve this makeup look then please do keep on watching to begin with i want to create a smooth even flawless canvas before i apply any base products onto my face so for that i'm going to take the lg blur smoothing primer so i've taken this much of the primer and i'm going to focus this primer wherever i have open pores so this is going to fill in those pores and create a flawless even canvas For this step you really don't have to use a brush or anything your fingers will do the job so i'm just going to take my fingertips and blend the primer uh, thoroughly onto my skin and whatever is left on my fingertips i'm just going to take that on top of my eyelids and underneath my eyelids So if you want your makeup to last longer make sure to use a primer before you start with your base makeup. Now I'm going to create an even canvas on my face because um I do have a lot of pigmentation issues so I want my base makeup to be smooth and even and for that I'm going to use the Power Clay BB cushion and in the shade 55 Americano. So I'm just going to dab the sponge like so and take some product I'm going to dab this product all over my face. I'm also going to apply this onto my eyelids and my dark circles because this one does the job uh, perfectly in concealing those areas without making those areas look cakey. I do love a bright under eye so for that I'm going to take the magic wand concealer in the shade Kon Panna so I'm just going to take a little bit of that concealer so I'm applying a little bit of that on the dark circles and this one is super high in coverage so a little bit goes a long way I'm also going to dab a little bit on the top of the eyelids and whatever is left on the wand i'm just going to clean up underneath my eyebrows i'm also going to apply the same concealer on the center of my nose to make it look more elongated on my cupid's bow and also on my chin now i'm going to take a damp beauty blender to blend all of these highlighted areas now before setting the base makeup with some powder i'm going to show you a quick uh, trick so i'm taking the grand finale setting mist this is the matte variant so i'm just going to spritz that um setting spray all over my face so that it locks everything in place and then i'm going to go in with a powder and this is going to make sure that your makeup doesn't budge throughout the day now to set the base makeup i'm using the all set to go banana powder which i absolutely love i'm taking a generous amount of this powder and apply on my under eyes so that the under eyes doesn't crease and also on top of my smile lines now whatever is left on the sponge i'm just going to apply on top of the eyelids to prevent any creases over there quickly i'm going to pick up a blending brush and dust off the excess powder on top of the eyelids and also on my smile lines because i don't want this area to be too bright while the powder is baking on the under eyes i'm going to quickly finish off my eye makeup 
I'm picking up the Arch Arrival Brow Powder in the shade Jerry Brown. I love this eyebrow powder because it is super super quick and it does the job perfectly. So I'm just gonna go underneath my eyebrows like so. So I'm basically just gonna create a line on the uh, bottom part of my eyebrows. And if there is any gap, I'm just gonna go in and fill those gaps. Can you see the difference? That was super quick too. So I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other side. Now I'm gonna begin with the eyeshadow work. And for that, I'm gonna pick up the Blend the Rules eyeshadow palette in the variant Warrior. So I'm gonna pick up this really beautiful, warm, terracotta brown on a blending brush and I'm just gonna pop that eyeshadow on the crease to add as a transition color I'm also gonna apply the same eyeshadow on the outer V of my eyes I'm going to take the tiniest amount of the matte black eyeshadow on a pencil brush and I'm going to deepen up the outer V a bit more. I'm going to create a super dramatic winged eyeliner for this look. So to begin with the eyeliner portion, I'm going to start from the center of my eyelids and create small dashes along my upper lash line. So it looks something like this and now you can go ahead and connect these dashes to create um, your eyeliner. And since this one is a pen type eyeliner, uh, creating your winged eyeliner is going to be super easy with this product. And now to create the tail portion, I'm just going to extend the lower waterline towards the tip of my um, eyebrows. Now all you have to do is connect this um, tail to your eyeliner. And now I'm going to fill in the gap that I can see. To coat my lashes, I'm using the Lash Mob Mascara and I'm going to do a generous layer of this mascara to my top and bottom eyelashes because I'm not going to wear falsies for today's look. To add some structure and definition to my face, I'm taking the Contour Defose Palette in Vivid Victory and I'm gonna pick up the bronzer right here. So this is in the shape Woody Wonder. I'm just gonna chisel the hollows of my cheeks. Now I'm gonna dip a blush brush in this really beautiful mauve blush. So this is in the shade Mauve Marvel and this one suits my complexion so well. So I'm just going to pop that on the apples of my cheeks. Now to highlight my face, I'm taking the highlighter from the same palette and this is in the shade Champagne Champion. So this one is a very beautiful muted gold highlighter. I'm applying a little bit on my cupid's bow and my chin. Now for lips, I'm going to create an ombre lip. So for that, I'm going to take the shade uh, Veronica Mars from Matters Hell Lip Crayon. So I'm going to use this lipstick to uh, define the outer corners um, of my lips. Now to fill in the centers of my lips, I'm going to take another Matters Hell Lip Crayon and this is in a red shade so this one is called Claire Redfield 
So this is like a really pretty cool toned um, red shade. So I'm just gonna fill in the centers of my lips. Now the final step for lips is that I'm gonna take um, the pencil brush and dip it into the matte black eyeshadow and apply it right at the corners of my mouth to make the ombre look really defined. Now the final step is to lock the makeup in place. So I'm using the same uh, grand finale setting mist in the matte variant and set my entire makeup. 